Welcome everyone to a new episode of the Zona Podcast, live on Twitch this time. We're going to have a record for YouTube, so hello to you watching on YouTube. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, take some time to get some uh, drinks, some food if you want, to join me into this ride. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, everything, but especially a topic that I want to talk about, about ride game teasing or not teasing their new game. So... On my desk right now, I have some delicious uh, grapes. I have a Lacroix, Lacroix, uh, lime flavored. Mm, very good, very good. Very nice drink. Like this is such a great, great drink. Um, I hope you guys have I don't know like coffee, tea in front of you just so you can chill. This is a podcast, so feel free to close me down and just listen to what I have to say. Uh, it should be very, very interesting. Let me. Yeah, my door is locked, so I should be fine. So, in today's episode, guys, I wanted to talk about something that was very interesting to me, and it was the new game mode from uh, Riot Games. So, if you guys don't know what um, Riot Games is, it's the company that created League of Legends, and the new game mode they did is called Invasion. If you didn't have time to play this game mode, if you're like, I just got back from vacation, I haven't got time to turn on League of Legends, go ahead and give it a try, because it's really 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 great and it's something that just made me think and give me some like nostalgia of my old like MMO days and that's really what I want to talk about because I had the reflection and I was like you know write games a few years ago and sometimes they just paper pepper us with some teasing of like a new game they might they might develop or not and that for me is super super interesting and fascinating because uh, they were always like, okay, Riot Game. like, we know that Riot Game is working on a new game, we don't know what it is, we don't know if it's League of Legends 2, we don't know if it's something totally different, we don't know if it's a MOBA, we don't know if it's another thing than a MOBA, and when they launched Invasion, I thought it was such a well-developed game mode that I, could, I was like, this could be a game by itself, and it is the perfect mixture of a MOBA um, to League of Legends when you go on solo queue against players to so the PvP aspect, but it's such a great example of what you can do with a MOBA aspect with like champions, spells, summoner spells as well, in a PV environment. So you play with people, but against an environment. So invasion, there's all those stages and the final boss. Unfortunately, the stages of this game mode were not really hard. But imagine you have like a few bosses and a few blah blah blah, and it just becomes a red. And Riot Games just does one like once every like a two to three or six months, whatever. And they have like a World of Warcraft sort of like uh, rhythm with like new content and new PV raids and dungeons and stuff like this. I'm not saying that League of Legends should just turn into World of Warcraft, but I'm saying it's a different, it's just a great aspect that I've never thought about. So, when the first thing I did, the first thing I did, guys, when I heard about, when I just played myself, you guys have seen my two last YouTube videos, hopefully, about Invasion, and it's me really liking this final boss fight that really reminded me of my World of Warcraft days, uh, when me and my guild, we were like, tryharding and doing all those raids and trying to be first and and competing with like uh, over French guild and other European guilds we're not the best but we, we like the hustle and the grind of just like we need to figure out the strat we need to do this we need to be the best we need to do mistakes blah 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 you fix the mistakes oh we need to focus the ads oh the placements oh this this and that and all this management in real time that I had in World of Warcraft I just find it back in this League of Legends invasion game mode and I just loved it. I honestly loved Invasion uh, game mode. It's not over. I'm still going to play it a little bit. But it's very repetitive, of course. Uh, because just like, it's the same boss. And basically, like, the first stages are really, like, they're kind of a waste of time, I would say. They're very easy to do. They're not challenging. That's it. They're not challenging. But the last boss is is challenging. Because... Uh, not only you have like a ad, like you have an ad management, but the boss is needs to be kited. Uh, there is like spells where you have to move behind pillars. All those moves are very like they remind me of stuff from uh, World of Warcraft, and I just loved it. I loved back in the days where World of Warcraft is all I could think of, and I was an MMO geek, and those were the, like those were the times, man. Those were the times. I loved it. I loved it, and. My theory is very simple. Like, I think that League of Legends is 
trying, like testing the water with its community, saying, okay, if tomorrow we launch a mobile PvE, or if tomorrow we launch like some sort of like uh, invasion game mode into uh, into like another game that is called like League of Whatever, and it becomes a literally like a split between a MOBA, a PvP like you see in League of Legends, but it becomes like the division of the PvE. It's like it's a new game and it's only PvE. You can play with people and you get into a dungeon and blah 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 blah. Maybe there's not like the whole quest, uh, farming aspect, uh, like profession, like all the lore from Leo, uh, from World of Warcraft that you see, uh, the bank, all that stuff. Like you have like job, you have crafts, you have this, you have that. Like there's a lot. There's a million things besides uh, dungeon and raiding on World of Warcraft. Of course, there's actually there own PvP aspect in World of Warcraft. But I'm saying that League of Legends, I feel like they're trying, they're just testing the water on new games. And I feel like it allows them not only to, well, surprise the community with something new, so something fresh, something really nice, but it's also for them to gather some data and be like, okay, what what if we launch this? How would the community react? And I think that so far the community has reacted super, super, super well. And it makes me think that isn't that what people want? Like maybe we move from a, from an MMO uh, generation with all those games like uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, I think there was like uh, Aeon. There was um, EverQuest. I want to say I'm I'm not sure. Like there's I feel like a lot of people like five years ago everyone was playing MMOs. Uh, a lot of people were at World of Warcraft, and a lot of people were playing their own MMOs, thinking they were the shit. Everyone thought they were the shit, and they were playing the best game ever. Now we're just moving to MOBAs. Like everyone talks about MOBAs. We talk about Dota 2. We talk about League of Legends. We talk about Heroes of the Storm. Even though I feel like Heroes of the Storm is like pretty much dead by now. Uh, but there was a period where every every month a new Dota was coming up. Like every every month there was some game developer that was just recreating their own perspective of what a MOBA should be like. So you have like low breakers. Uh, what is the? I think it was a game called Paragon. And the only marketing advantage of it was like they were pushing the way the way it looked. Uh, that's not a good idea, bro. Like if you're a developer, do if if you're dev that's just a quick side note. If you develop games and the first thing you say about your game is that it, it that is that it looks really nice, it means that it sucks. Like you cannot say that. Like the first thing you say about your game isn't how it looks. You can't say that. And I think this is what killed the game. They were like, yo, look how cool the game looks, man. It's so nice. Wow, wow, wow. But is it fun? Yeah, but look, it's cool, man. Like, you have, like, 4K and all those graphics. It's so nice. Yeah, but how's the gameplay? But, dude, it is so beautiful. So, I didn't like that. And nobody tried it. They were kind of hyped. They paid a lot of, like, uh, sponsored content from different YouTubers. At least in France. Like, I've heard about it for so many days. I think when they launched, nobody showed up. Like, no one showed up. And it's simple. You see YouTubers getting paid to promote them. They play it. They say it's amazing. And you really see if they actually liked it if they start playing it for free, right? Without being paid because they're actually into the game. And and this is this is a great lesson that a lot of you can learn if you guys want to work in the video game industry. But let's just close the side note. I want to keep talking about Red Games launching Invasion. So the first thing I did when I uh, when I was when I was really surprised about this invasion uh, like game mode, I, I called my friend uh, called Malakis. Uh, he used to work with me in France. We used to be co-caster uh, for League of Legends, so we're both fanatic of like uh, video games. He actually studies in the video uh, in the video game industry, and I think he's like a, an artist. Uh, he's like a th I don't know how to say it in English, but he's like a 3D designer or something like this, and and it's so fascinating. And every time I see things about the like the development of video games or new game modes, we go on a Skype and we talk for hours talking about what can happen next, what is something that, and I wish, I wish I could do a podcast with him, but if I do, I think it would have to be in French, uh, I'm sorry for that. And what he told me is that he's a huge Dota fan, like he plays Dota 2 more than League of Legends now, because he doesn't feel challenged by League of Legends anymore, which I can understand, uh, I mean, me and him grinded League of Legends so much for like, four years that he just got tired of it which I understand I'm starting to be like that too a little bit but I still love the esports side of it and he was like yo bro like Zono like uh, what are, what the hell are you talking about like he was like what the hell are you talking about 
And I'm like, yo, but this this thing, Invasion, it's like a PV aspect of League of Legends. Like, you should try it. Um, it's 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 really fun. I've never, I've never seen that before. Like, you gotta try it. And he's like, yo, this has existed uh, uh, in Dota 2 for so, so, so long. And the last one is called Silky Road or Silk Road or something like this. And I saw it. So, I'm not a fan of Dota 2, to be honest. Like, the... The vibe of the graphics don't really, like, I don't really, like, connect with it so much. I feel like League of Legends is more of, like, it's easier on the eye, if that makes any sense to you guys. I feel like League of Legends is just easier on the eye. And Dota 2 isn't. Like, for me, it's, like, it's a very dark game, and there's, like, a lot of, like, brightness on stuff. Like, it's, it will be, like, very, very dark, and then you have, like, a bright green, and you're like, yo, what the hell is that? I don't know, like, the color just... I don't, I don't fuck with the color, to be honest. Uh, I think the gameplay is amazing. I think the competitive effort is amazing. I think the company is amazing. I think the game is amazing. But I just don't play it. Like, I would watch the international, no problem. I'll bring the pizza, bro. But I just, I don't play it. I don't feel like playing it. And he told me, yo, you know that? Like, it, this has been existing in Dota 2 for so long now. And you should check it out. Uh, and then he said, oh, uh, you're a piece of shit for not knowing that. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, friend. And so basically, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I checked it out. I checked it out. I saw the video. I typed like uh, Dota 2, Silk Road, uh, gameplay video, something like this. And there it is. And it's a PV aspect of Dota 2. This is a MOBA. So you take a champion that you can see in Dota 2 and you go into this adventure, this brand new adventure that the game developer just crafted for the community and you go in this PV adventure and you can like unlock prices, you can get some bundles, you can get some stuff that are valuable inside the game. And I was like, yo, okay, so he's like, okay, well, he's all like, yo, D uh, League of Legends copied Dota 2. Well, that's okay, like, I don't I don't really care, like, for me, there's no rivalry, it doesn't exist, like, you have your game, I have mine, whatever. But, it's interesting to see how Riot Games is actually pushing into League of Legends, because Dota 2 and League of Legends aren't the same community at all, like, you have to understand that, they're not the same community at all. The age, uh, I think the age, the average age for Dota 2 is, like, something like 20 or 21 or even 22, but League of Legends, it's like 14, 15 year old. So it's a different community and it's definitely like something interesting to talk about because I feel like, uh, I just feel like overall, I'm sorry, I just, I, I should never drink um, sparkling water or sparkling drink before a podcast. Like this is the worst idea ever. I'll just, uh, I'll put a note like somewhere on my wall because, oh my God, like I can't talk 15 seconds without having like, like mini burps. So, yeah, so I was like, okay, so this is very interesting. The League of Legends, so what, I, okay, so what I'm trying to do is like, I want to gather information about uh, League of Legends. How, how well was Invasion received? From what I've seen on Twitter, from what I've seen on Facebook, on Reddit, on uh, on YouTube comments of like other YouTubers because obviously their comment section are really big. Uh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough like people commenting on my video to actually know what you guys think. So if you guys are reading this, put put a comment down below and basically tell me what you think about Invasion. Would you see this as a game itself? I'm very very interested and passionate about knowing that. Like I think it's so interesting and. League of Legends, like the the company Riot Games, has the data on this, and obviously they're preparing a new move because League of Legends, whether you like it or not, whether you're a fan or not, it is gonna go in decline. Like it is gonna go in decline one day, and it's just gonna die, or it's just gonna stay stagnant at where it is forever, and you're gonna see other game emerge on top of it. AKA PUBG, for example. Uh, PUBG, which is doing insane, by the way. Maybe we'll talk about that a little later, and. And so, yeah, I was like, you, you know what? I'm super interested in knowing what people think about Invasion. So I go on Reddit. I see people like, oh, my God, congrats, Riot Games. I'm loving this game mode. I'm I'm playing only that now. I was like, fuck Solo Q, fuck Aram, whatever. People are excited about it. And I think this shows a little bit what the future of gaming uh, could be, where we move from, like, a uh, MMO era, and then we, we went through a, a whole, like, we went through a whole MOBA era with everyone doing MOBAs, Blizzard, Riot Games, all that stuff. All those companies were doing MOBAs. And I feel like we moved a little bit to like the... What's the game type of uh, H1Z1 PUBG? Like, uh... Ah, 
I forgot. I forgot. When you drop into a map, you gotta survive. Survival, survival game? Is that what it is? Like, you have to be the last one standing, basically. So, we have this H1Z1 PUBG era, which is still ongoing. Of course, huh? Still ongoing. But what's next? Like, what's out of frame here? Like, what am I holding here? And I think this is the question. This is the $1 million question, ladies and gentlemen. What is after uh, survival mode games? And for me... At least for me, I think that something like Invasion, at least in the same vibe or in the same stuff, could be super interesting. Because the thing right now, I feel like right now what's very interesting is that Riot Game has a panel of like 100 and... What, what are we at? Like 120 champions? 100, like 130 champions? I, I don't know, but it's a lot. And we have so many like different um, aspects of the game, so many abilities, so many champions, so many items. We already have this figured out. But you put those champions in an arena and you call it a MOBA, it becomes League of Legends. But what if you put this champ those champions into something else? Like you put the same champions into something else, into an MMO game or into a survival game. Uh, what if, dude? What if this could become a new Riot Games uh, like video game? I just think it's an amazing theory, guys. And I could I could talk about it for hours, but... I don't think there's much to say because it's, it is a theory, so all I say could be f really wrong and just false, or it could just lead to something. But I just think that, uh, I, didn't change the, I didn't change the title on my Twitch uh, live. <laughs> okay, but I, I don't know, I just think it could be very, 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 very interesting. And I really want to hear your, your thoughts and what you really think of this. Would you see yourself playing a MOBA that is that has a PD aspect like Invasion? What if like Riot Games releases every week or every bi-weekly or every month a new dungeon like this? But instead of having like one final boss, you have like two bosses and one final final boss that is super hard to play. And you have a progress with like uh, the first team or the first clan to beat the final boss get like a massive amount of RP. Um, what if there could be an esports around it, like an esports around the PV aspect of it, with like a time of uh, clearance of the dungeon or the raid? What if? What if all that could happen, guys? So please, please, guys, take a second of your time, type a little comment, tell me, yo, I really want this to happen. I want Riot Games to have. I, I want Riot Games to do this. I think it's an amazing idea. Or just tell me, yo, Nathan Zono, you're absolutely dreaming. Uh, Stop doing videos on YouTube. You all you say is bullshit. Blah 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 blah. I, I just want to know what you think about this theory. Um, I I'm really I'm looking. I will look closely into what Reagan does because 2018 is coming, guys. Uh, I'm not sure about how the esports is gonna grow for League of Legends. To be honest, uh, we see the audience going down and down and down. Just there for the finals of EU and NLCS, uh, the audience is so it was very low, man, and. It is definitely in decline. Like we cannot say, Red Games isn't. They're not bragging about their numbers anymore. Uh, as I'm recording this video, there's the gauntlet going on right now, where the last teams in NA and EU are trying to get the last spot for words, uh, and the viewership isn't there yet. So people who are watching PUBG right now. PUBG is really the focal. Um, just it's it's the Twitch Renaissance. I just um, I think H3 H3 said that last time. And I was like, yo, that's exactly what it is. It's the Twitch Renaissance. You go on Twitch, people play PUBG, they watch PUBG, they love PUBG. So yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to what Riot Games is doing with this invasion. Maybe they'll look forward into it, create new content. But if you want my advice, if you want my point of view, I think it's an amazing, it's an amazing game mode. It's amazingly fun. So if you haven't tried it, go try it. Please go try it. Get a squad together and go ahead and do it. Uh, tomorrow, I will launch the video of the hard mode. So if you guys haven't seen my last video of the normal mode, go ahead and watch it. They're actually really fun. And if you guys don't know the strat, uh, why I play, I'm telling you what to do, like you should like go behind this, you should focus ads, you should do this and this and that. So thank you so much guys if you watch this on Twitch, thank you so much if you are just on YouTube guys, uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe or whatever you want to do actually, like th actually, you know what, just do whatever, like it, it honestly it doesn't even matter, like uh, if you like this video maybe you can recommend to a friend, you can be like oh you should watch this, that would actually help more than you liking and subscribing. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next one. I wish you an amazing week. Hopefully you watch, you watch this some uh, a nice snack or a nice drink. Uh, and let me know if you had the time to try Invasion. Uh, I'll find you in Twitter at Zonobra and on Facebook as well with Zonobra as my page. Take care, guys. See you next time. Cheers.